Hello, Divan. So this topic is uh, very interesting because uh, those who have implemented ITSM in service now, they must be aware of this. Even from ITIL process perspective, you always have to find out relationships between incidents, problems, and changes in service now because all of them actually are not standalone products or artifacts in themselves. They may be. But there are a lot of cases where you have to associate these records properly, right? Uh, because even uh, the statistics tell you that more than 50% of your incidents are caused because of failed changes. And most of the problems are fixed by changes in the environment. Most of the incidents are fixed by changes in the environment. Maybe it's, it may be a normal change, it may be an emergency change, whatever it is. So this is very important to understand the relationship between incident problem and change. And I'll just try to cover it quite quickly because it is not very uh, detailed topic, but still an important one and uh, one which sometimes people get confused. And so we always understand from idle perspective that what is the relationship between incident problem change that problem is an underlying cause of incident. And we have talked about it also that when you have seen an incident, you it will always have an underlying cause. You may or may not want to find out depending on the impact of the incident if it is high priority incident, you may want to raise a problem record to investigate thoroughly. If it is quite recurring in nature, you may want to raise a problem record thoroughly to manage it effectively. So this is where, uh, so always you will have an underlying cause of an incident, which is actually called as a problem. Now situation in the real world is that one incident can cause, sorry, one problem can cause multiple incidents, right? So initially when you came to know about a problem is via an incident, for example. Now, for that incident, you have raised a problem record the first time. And later on, you have similar incident and you have attached to that problem record. So if you see the topics which I am covering here, one is the incident because of which you came to know about the problem for the first time and you've created a problem record to ensure that you manage it effectively. This is the first time you came to know about that problem via an incident. Second situation is you already have a problem recording system and you want to associate other incidents which have the same problem as a root cause to that particular problem record. Again, the same situation we have in real world, right? The, as I said, there are cases where incidents are caused because of failed changes. So you should be able to map those incidents that are caused by changes. You should be able to take out a report out of it. There are incidents that are fixed by changes. Sometimes there's an incident for which you might have raised an emergency change. If it is not a very high priority incident and you may have time to fix it, <clears throat> then you might fix it using a normal change. And problems, generally you fix problems by changes unless you agree any uh, risk acceptance, something of that sort. Otherwise, you generally do change management to fix problems. Right? So there is a very clear correlation, a very clear relationship between these three, these three things. Now, I'm talking more in terms of service now perspective now that how does it look like in system? Where do you attach these records? How do you differentiate that this is the incident because of which I created this problem record for the first time versus these are other incidents which are linked to this problem record. So there is a difference. <coughs> Sorry, there is a fundamental difference between these concepts. One where you came to know about the problem record via an incident and you are raising a problem from that incident. Second, that other incidents of similar nature have to be linked to that particular problem. And even fundamental uh, things here also, incidents caused by changes, fixed by changes, there also we will see the same thing going forward. But let us see the system, how does it look like? So let me go back to the system. And if I show you, for example, let's start this journey quickly from incident. And I'm creating an incident record first time. Let's do that. So the whole whole concept is that we have to understand the difference between causing incidents. I mean, the same similar type of incident, what is the first incident? So all of those things are important here. So for now, I'll just raise an incident quickly. Maybe I raise an incident here and test incident for problem. For example, and I do this, I do this, I do this, and I save this incident. I mean, other fields are not so so mandatory, so we can do anything. And I can click on save. <clears throat> when I have saved this incident, right now, 
you have an option now for example you want to do a root cause analysis for this incident and you want to uh, create a new problem record so there are when you create a new problem record it is always advisable to do it from here to go here and click on create problem so let us let us do that let us create a problem and let us see how are these two things linked together once you create it from system cell so do you see this field called first reported by this is that important field which tells you that this is that originating incident or the first incident because of which you have come to know about this problem and now now i can just click on save and the problem will be saved but this is the most important thing i want to show you that this is the field which kind of tells you that this is the problem uh, originating incident which was for because of which you have created this problem record for the first time now it will be shown up here also when you go to load related lists it will be shown up here also let us see that do you see this this problem has a incident but when you attach other similar incidents to this existing problem even they will come here at that point of time people become confused they get confused at which was the parent incident because of which we created the problem for the first time and this is what you can find out from this first reported by field let's go back to that incident and see so this is important to understand uh those those things right so if i click on here i don't think there is a uh, don't have a problem uh, related to this here so it will be shown up here problem record because this is a problem that we have opened now understand this concept if i go to any let me copy this problem number for time being if i go to any other incident now and i come here for example i come to all and let me copy any one incident for example for an associated to that problem record this is an existing incident and i am associating it with some of that same problem record which i just had right but this is not an originating incident understand this this is another incident at the same time of the same type which is linked to that particular problem record now if i go back to this particular problem record this is where you can find out that first reported by does not change which means when the problem was first reported it was because of this incident however you can always find out that how many other incidents are linked to this particular problem so that is what i want to tell you that this a particular field called related problem record is the same purpose that if you want to associate an existing incident or a new incident to an existing problem record you can do it from here it will be reflected in the related list view right now this is the concept between incident and problem now let's understand this thing there are two fields you see here one is change request one is caused by change let us understand the difference so if i go back to my slab ppt and i show you that part where i feel so we talked about this part we talked about this part now we are talking about the next two parts incidents caused by changes incidents fixed by changes so this is where that i am telling some system that this incident is caused this is why the field name is caused by change so i am telling you here that this incident is caused by this change and this incident will be fixed by some other change For example, this one. See, see the see the difference here, right? There is a difference between these two fields. One is caused by change. One is change request. When I say this change request, it means that this incident will be fixed by this change, and this incident will be caused by this change. You know, let us go back and see how does it look like on the change form, right? I go here, and I open the record, change record. So let's see what happens there. so this is sometimes people get confused between these different different fields that is why it is important to explain this right now if i were to show you the fields i'm talking about here are incidents fixed by change and incidents caused by change now if you remember that incident number which i was talking about it wasn't caused by change field the same number which was there 10012 which, which which is where i'm telling you this incident will be caused by this particular change 
this is where it came under this particular tab. Now, if you see incidents fixed by change, now somebody is fixing some other incident by this change, for example. That information is here. Now, if I open this record, for example, and if I show you that information, it will be under <coughs> that change request, request, right? So this see this here. It's 4005, the same 4005. So here we could see that this information was under fixed by change, and here this information is under on the incident form as a change request. Similarly, on this incident caused by change was something different. And this caused by on so on this incident form, you'll have that field as caused by change. There are very significant differences between caused by change and fixed by change. And we have to understand this, that this incident is causing this change. Sorry, this change is causing this incident or this incident is fixed by this change. It is very, very important to understand these concepts. And in case of problem to change relationship, you can always uh, go to the problem record and you can just attach uh, the change record. So that that is fine. For example, if I were to show you this one. 